Hello and welcome back to Minecraft. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to create a boss in Minecraft. Now I've created this guy, he's the boss that I'm going to be making, but feel free to of course customize it yourself. Now this isn't going to be a single video I don't believe, but in today's video, the first video, we're going to be looking at how to set up the life bar for your boss. Now I'm going to position the life bar above his head and the way I want to structure my boss is that there's going to be various different locations around this room which need to be hit and they're going to be sort of locations that the boss is going to be drawing power from. So before getting started and diving in I highly advise that you think about what sort of boss fight you want to have. I'm going to be doing my certain type in this but if you want to learn how to do a different type of boss then throw some ideas down in the comment section below and I'll have a look at them and maybe try and also do another little mini series on creating a different type of boss. Anyway, this is going to be a fairly simple little boss fight for um, a short little adventure map that I'm doing. It's just going to be a short adventure and yeah, I'll come back once I've set up the general life bar and perhaps a few of these nodes around the room which I want to do and I'll be back once I've set up some more of the general stuff. So I'll see you guys in a second. Alright, so I'm back and as you can see there's a little boss bar floating above this guy's head and he's uh, lost a little bit of life already and as you can see there's one wire controlling the entire line and we're using comparators in the latest snapshots so if you're not there then you might as well go into the description and download that or if 1.5 is out it'll be fine but as you can see this is the entire system for controlling the boss's health or at least the display of the boss's health what we've got is the signal strength of this dictates how many of these lights are on. So, over here we have two comparators looping into each other. So it's basically retaining signal strength information. Because if we jump down here to this place here, we can give a little bit more of a demonstration. I'm going to put in an input and an output. So if we go one, two, three, four and put in an output, you can see an input even, we get our output. Now signal strength travels 15 blocks usually. So we were four or one, two, three, four, five away from outputting a full strength from here because what this is going to do is it's going to save the signal strength that you input but it's kind of reversed in a bit of a strange way it's going to be five less than the total because if we were to output 15 away we would get nothing 14 would be one so it's going to be 15 minus five i believe so it should be outputting 10 one two three 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So obviously I've miscounted. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I believe it's to do with the way that this is sort of situated, but you can tell of what it's vaguely doing. I, I, I'm not too sure how, how I'm calculating it, to be honest. I'm just assuming that's about right. So what we can do is then adjust the length of this. As you can see, it's four away from the from the end here now it's one away so my description may not have been the best but it can vaguely help you understand what's going on hopefully um, but anyway what we're going to do now is set, set this one to subtract so the idea here is we're going to be subtracting from the total loop because this is technically looping in itself so if we throw down another comparator and another one, we're going to put a sticky piston here, or there even, piece of stone, and a redstone comparator. Then we're also going to grab a chest, put it in here, and you're just going to throw any miscellaneous item into the chest. Now what this means is we're outputting a signal strength of 1. As you can see, it gets to 1 and then it stops. So, 
what we're doing is when this block is pushed there as you can see what should start happening if we actually let go the signal strength starts to deteriorate so if we allow the signal strength to deteriorate for a short amount of time by pulsing this so if we just throw in a 15 we can pulse it like so and I can try and get the signal strength to be the right length as you can see it allows us to control control it and by using this monostable circuit here we're controlling it to only decrease it by one so if we just hit this we can come outside now see that it's decreased it's on four it's on four well it's lost four so far now it should have lost five now it's lost five so as you can see by using a two tip mono stable we're able to decrease the output by one each time so that's all for the first video I think basically setting up introducing the thing introducing the series I suppose and yeah subscribe for the next couple of videos on this and hopefully we're going to be setting up more ways of sort of interacting with this system we've created and yeah hope you guys have enjoyed the video a like rating would be much appreciated and I'll see you guys next time